This is a rematch of WCG 2013. Ready to work. Where, of course, TH crushed the dream of Moon to ever win a WCG with a Tower Rush. But those times are over. It's about GCS now. And off we go. Yellow is TH starting in the upper right. In orange, we have Moon with a Demon Hunter first. No surprise there. Oblivious we have seen TH play, play a lot of non-standard stuff, especially against Lolliot. It did work to a good extent so far. But today he seems to feel like standard. And I wonder if that is a good solution against Moon. <laughs> There's a Wisp already. Ready for the detonate. But the Archmage shots seem to be too much. A player's oh, are under attack. immediately going for the expo. That is so risky. Town is under siege. Of course Moon saw that. Going for the Huntress Hall immediately. Engine of War is here. There's not a second one anywhere. So, so far we don't see Mass Huntress. And this one is not producing anything. So, very interesting. Moon did not decide to go for a Moonwell. But though he gets to first blood and close to level 2. Can he steal this? No, Archmage gets to level 2 earlier, but there's a good potential of killing two of the Water Elementals. He got the first one, I think. And the expo is coming up already. Crept that with ease. And now it's up to Moon to get a good amount of Huntress out. Still no second engine of war. I wonder if the pressure is going to be enough. He gets another water elemental and therefore level 2 with evasion. Still didn't decide on mana burn or immolation. So Moon needs time. To get his tier 1 army up. Is he attacking behind this? No he's not. Of course not. Huntress costs too much. Player's forces are under attack. Ooh, okay. Nice staff. He realizes there is no tower in the base of TH. He calls to arms to get uh, the demon hunter down, but there is evasion and so much damage already on those peasants. He gets a lot of kills from this. Three already down. Damage is done. He can't staff out there, obviously. Good micro by TH here to save the peasants. And this one is a force TP. How much damage and how much more kills can he get? Oh, that was decent. Are under attack. One, two, three, four kills at least. And if he does it again, you see everything is low and there's no shop. Good game sense by Moon. As he's harassing with the Huntress here. Not a single tower. 48. But it's, as long as it's just one Huntress, Starshape will confirm that this is not going to work. Demon Hunter is coming back in though. Staff is still on cooldown. He can't break this, but TH is still not going for towers. He is so greedy with this play. And Moon is tacking behind this. All right. Can he staff onto something? No, the Wisp is gone. But there's a second one. Can move it in. Maybe he's just waiting for it. Staff, you can see the cooldown there. As the Huntress approach the expansion again. Good multitasking by Moon so far, but TH is holding on. With a Reacher Potion, very helpful. Here is the Wisp. He's calling to arms immediately. Can he chop down the Wisp in time? No, he can't. Immolation is working immediately. An Exodus from TH. And yeah, now Moon is trapped. For quite a long time. He doesn't have a town portal. By the way, he can't get out. <laughs> Hunters are joining. And so he has to move in. Moon still with 250 mana points. Very cool play. The Huntress forced the workers to get in. But this should be a guaranteed kill on the Demon Hunter. But it's such a... Wow, we killed so many units here. Still no tower up. First guard tower now. 
So he can't pressure the expansion too much, but the damage he does in the main makes up for it a billion times. This Abel's Immolation, by the way. Can he get up to level 3? That would be great. Our TH is making sure that that's not... Oh, okay, that's not happening, I was about to say, but it is. And more kills. Oh my god. Oh shit, this is so hard, man. So hard to watch. But there's no exit except death. But this was so worth it. Look at the corpses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven kills on that Demon Hunter with Immolation. And that is only one Ancient of War Hunters. Of course, level three is not really nice now because it takes more time. And the expansion is coming up again. Moon is pulling all the right strings so far. And what does TH have to offer? He continues to harass with the Huntress. Is it Zeppelin time already? Oh, no. It's not. But they can Shadow Melt. Oh, no. Yeah, it's night time. He can Shadow Melt for a bit. Is under siege. A and wait for the Zeppelin to get out. Attack. There we go. Archmage does not scout the expansion. It's such an obvious position. Okay, now he goes for it. And with the water elemental, it's only level two, one though. He's not killing it. He's definitely not killing it. And the Zeppelin is of course not only there to save the units, but also to fly in there. Oh, he pulls the Ogre Lord. Such a cool play, but it's not working. He can't get the aggro on the Tree of Life. <laughs> Pen and Brewmaster second and the Huntress are in. Still no tower up. And the economy is crippled so hard. Still... Okay, there's the tech. Halfway done. But Moon has to react. The panda's coming. He has the Archmage trap there. Breath of Fire number one. I think Drunken Haze would have been better here for the missed chance. I'm not too sure about it. He has to eat some trees now. The damage is not great. He can't get a third water elemental out in the panda. Rescues the expansion. Engines of Laws are up. Or at least one. Can't see the second one. Step in on the Demon Hunter. There's no slow though. Immolation Breath of Fire. But here's a lot of normal damage on both sides. He will lose so many footmen if Moon Micros correctly. Yep, yeah, two down. And more to go. The Expo is safe. There's no way TH can do something against it. Great defense by Moon and the creeps are helping with another end snare. Very unlucky for TH in that regard. By the way, our... Okay. No, the resources are wrong. Sorry about that. Panda needs some levels, obviously, but there's tier 2 now and Arcane Sanctums. Let's take a look at the gold mine. 8,100, 6,800, 1,300 gold harass. And the Naga, what's she doing there? Ah. Okay, Zeppelin to the rescue. This is what we want to see from those players. Maybe the greatest multitaskers of all time. Maybe the two greatest players of all time. Once the expansion is up, it should be a safe game attack. for Moon, but we all know how dangerous mortal teams can be. Second engine of lore is coming up now. No tech! No tier 3 tech! TH is dropping, but the damage is not high enough. Or is it? It's a, was a town portal, but he gets the entangled gold mine! Last shot! And that took some time off of Moon's Clock. Which is of course very helpful for TH. Why is he not teching? He does have the resources, only now he is. He wanted to have a lot of Dryads against the Zeppelin, that's for sure. But still...
Rifleman for a transition. Actually, mod teams fell a little out of the meta game recently, but here they come. Gyrocop is, of course, good against Zeppelins as well. Players' forces are under attack. And creeping starts <clears throat> for the Panda level three. Got the role of the Magi already, which is a good one. Moon, of course, with a one-one-one build, Meta Burn one, Immolation one, Evasion one. Ogre goes towards TH, so his Naga needs leveled as well. Not level two, no Frog Lightning yet. Priest are there, Brackets are coming. 56 food, 48 already. Moon is keeping himself at 60, at, at 50. The Entangled Gold Mine is ready, but he's not moving the Wisp in it. Losing gold the entire time. He's just forgetting about the Wisps. A player's forces are under attack. 12 minutes in, this game has been fantastic and lives up to all hype so far. Thanks to Moon, ultra aggressive play in the early stages. Now, things are calming down a bit and Moon finally realized it. Potion of mana. This panda is a lucky one. A player's forces are under attack. On the other side, DH is creeping the most important rock golem. Boots of Keltalas, nothing for him. But the Naga is quite well equipped. Plus 9 damage, a little more attack speed. Need scroll as well. So they can't complain about item drops so far. Healing wards, level 4. Level 2 mana burn finally. And master training is coming. Moon is getting ready for the late game. But so is TH with the first mortar teams coming up. 74 food against 62. Moon starts to break upkeep as well, but is it too late? I don't think so. TH is using his sweet time to creep more. Nice block with the water elemental there. Class plus 12. Great for the Naga again. This lady is gonna be a beast. At level 3, but Moon is moving out. Another big consumable, maybe? Yeah, that's attack. exactly what he wants. Three mortar teams. There's no Ancient of Wind yet, so no Chimera transition. Scroll of the Beast. Of course, unnecessary. Sells it immediately for a town. No heal scroll, no invul. And he creeps even more. A player's forces are. TH with the Yumiko strats. This Hunter Soul is gone for sure. This army has a lot of damage in. Three mod teams, two riflemen, 1 0 upgrades. What lacks is meat. More blockers are necessary against the bears. Otherwise, the bears will break through. The panda has an easy time. Let's, let's hunt the water. Ball. Invis mod, uh, water elemental to scout things. So he has a good vision on it. The meat is now there in terms of peasants, but how long would they last against the panda level? What is it? Four? Yeah. Two sets of heal wards. Can be sniped, of course. Fairly easily. Whoa, that tower position is cool. That tower position is really cool. He gets it on the high ground. Drunken Haze. Breath of Fire connects, but immediately dispels so he doesn't get the damage over time on it. The position is fantastic for TH in that choke. Let's see when the towers are coming up. And oh, we have Blizzard! We have Blizzard coming in and it rocks already on level two. We have a heal scroll for him as well. TH in a very, very good situation, but Moon is 10 to play ahead. Next Breath of Fire hitting hard against the Passants, as well as the Casters. As I said, there's not enough uh, breakers here. Level 4 on the Archmage, you see the Blizzard working. Level 5 on the Demon Hunter there, and TH is struggling despite the good position. The towers are not coming up, it's only Scout Towers, so he doesn't need to, uh, more time here. Shredder is dead, nice save on that bear. And the Chinese is struggling hard. Losing 30 supply. The bears are breaking through and Moon wins the first set. Despite having a bad position, as I said, not enough breakers there to separate the breakers 
uh, or the range from the panda. Panda had great breath of fires. And there was the damage. And there was the army going away. As I said, this game lives up to his hype so far. I hope match two or map two. And I can follow it up. That looked almost too easy, despite the blizzard. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, uh, Shane S N H S. Hey, I'm not watching that often, but I want to show uh, support. Uh, but I want to support your dedication. Thank you so much, man, for tuning in. And uh, subbing with Amazon Prime is always cool because I think you like watch a lot of other. Streams then for Hearthstone maybe and you still chose us. That's very cool. Thank you very much So how many of you were right so far oh. a Little more than a half half of you So we're waiting for the second game. Um, of course, the pressure that Moon put on TH in the early game was horrible for TH. That he came back to that degree is already a very strong showing of TH's craft currently. Here we go for a tower rush game. Yeah, maybe if we see Echo Isles, that's definitely possible. Or AI. So far we have seen the tower rush on AI and EI. Thank you, Zerial man. 10 buck donation. Boom. Thank you. And 11 core has subbed as well. Puck champ, he says. Thank you, guys, man. That's a very, very cool stream so far. Is there a balance patch coming? Yep, I have a big video on that on YouTube with, I think, like 6,000 clicks or something. And it's scheduled to be in June. Uh, at least the PTR is for June. Um, of course, it is Blizzard. Things can go wrong. So don't nail me on that. Like, oh, Neo said it's June. Where is it? No, no. It's scheduled for June. That's a big difference. <laughs> My dog loves your voice. Okay, thank you. PTR is a public test realm, so they're going to change a lot of things. I know a little more, but I can't say really what it is. Um, so we definitely need to test a lot of stuff. That's coming up. It's going to be interesting, guys. Uh, you, you know you're all a little afraid about the changes. So am I. But let me say that they won't do too much with the balance as far as I know. Terra stand, by the way. And it's a green moon versus a blue TH. Uh, green moon versus a blue TH. It's 1-0 for the fifth, oh, damn, fifth race. And off we go, hopefully, to a great map again. It's an Archmage. No Tower Rush stuff. A player's forces are under attack. I'm watching since get to the keyboard has stopped shoutcasting. I think I should support you finally. By the way, did you think about to shoutcast with one of get to the keyboard? They have pretty game, uh, pretty big game knowledge. Uh, I was in contact with one of them once, but nothing too close. Like A player's forces are under attack. So no, I never thought about it. Really. So, it's a Demon Hunter again, no Warden play despite it being 
Terranas and Remind definitely uh, Remind Moon definitely knows how to play the one, but he's more of a demon hunter player all the way. Moving out two wisps already, not going for this one. TH also not creeping aggressively for an instant expansion. Going for it now, as it seems. When will the delay be removed from Battle.net? Soon. I think the answer to everything is soon. <laughs> I don't know how soon, but pretty much sooner than attack. you think. So, expansion creep. Moon is right there, and we have the pleasure of seeing immolation again or do we it's not enabled yet it's not fully committing to this could have done a lot of damage but now that his hp is dropping low he shouldn't go for it anymore and then this should be a mana burn uh, play of course guys if you are old school warcraft fans you know the fanatic beat it tournament where these players have met already on this very map, and it was one of the best games I have ever seen in my life. <clears throat> Troll Twins for Moon. Wait, is this correct? Three, four, seven. No, it's not. What is it? No. Change that real quick. A player's forces are under attack. Almost level 3 Archmage. Moon not going for an expansion, but that Wisp is in a position to go for something. Four Archers and the Trolls. Is there defend already? Nope. Demon Hunter is coming in with Immolation! Okay! He does have a staff, but will he be able to fight out there? Once again, we have Call to Arms being used, so mining has stopped. This time, TH is doing a way better job in saving his peasants. And as I say it, oh wow, he saves the third one. Fourth one might not be possible. No, he finally gets a kill. And the Arcane Tower is almost up. This will only work once. Oh boy, oh boy. He might get a great amount of last hits here. He has to TP out. Immolation is still working. Gets another kill. Let me count it. It's one, two, three, four, five, six corpses. Once again, worth it. 9,900. 9,400. So, of course, he has to rebuy the town portal. That's 350 gold. But. So, he has to reproduce. Uh, it's not about the gold mine, it's also about reproducing the passants. And then it's easy a good trade. Eight? Okay. Yeah, my counting is off. But. Eight corpses? I don't see that much, but whatever. Maybe I'm get, I'm I'm getting old. My eyes are not the best anymore, and this tower is not upgraded. How can he do the same mistake three times with not having an arcane tower against an immolation blade master? DH is just playing too greedy for this. And Moon again on a good way to tier 2, but he forgot about his Huntress Hall for quite a bit. Blade, did, did I say Blade Master? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Demon Hunter, of course. Immolation Blade Master, yeah, just imagine. Yeah, Blizzard, maybe you can do an Immolation Blade Master then. But the expo is up. It's definitely not safe, but it is up. No tech yet. At least there's an arcane tower now. Are under attack. Moon with nature's blessing early. Engine of wind! Oh yeah, talent play, baby! Against mass tier one is of course great. Remember 
Ganon to get the Belt of Giant Strength. Not the worst, but also not the best. A little more tankiness it is appreciated, but he wants more. So once the Talons come, these footmen will die in an instant. There's no Zeppelin 48 as far as I can see. There's boots on the Archmage though, so we will be able to run away. It's only... Whoa, it's one... L wind, two lores. Is it just against the hippo uh, the, the Zeppelin? One Hippogriff against the Zeppelin drop? That's pretty clever and pretty cool. Foggy told me about that earlier. <laughs> like in December, which is... Players oh, yeah. are under attack. And there's the Hippo. I'm a little sad that it's not talent because I love the super aggressive talent play, but of course it's way more standard and way more safe to go for theirs. It's a big investment though to go for that win that early. And a second again. And there's the hippo. Have fun, Zeppelin. So far TH is not aware. Breath of fire number one. Okay, now he is aware. Also aware of the expansion. Fuck. You can't run away from that. Archway is coming in for a distraction. Next one probably doesn't hit too much. Now we have to fend and now things are getting harder to kill. Oh, maybe he can run away from that if he can save himself into towers, but it's only one arcane. So this Zeppelin will be a Hindenburg. And false. So, so much for the footman drops. Immolation Breath of Fire again. It's only level 1 for both, but combined it does make good damage. I think it's 10 damage per second. Yeah. And Breath of Fire is a lot. Uh, 65. Oh, Archmage, you're in trouble. He has the balls to run away from this, though. No man anymore on the Demon Hunter? Is there a staff on him? No, but is that. Oh, is this enough? Is this... Oh, he gets the miss. There was not too much damage. I expected it to be more. But alright. The push here didn't really work. But of course it is distraction for Moon's own expansion to come up. And for his tier 3 tech to finish. Well, as we're getting into the bear statement. Tier 2 for him and Blood Mage. Of course... He's a counter hero. And it depends on if he uses Siphon Mana better than the Demon Hunter uses his Mana Bird. So TH uh, seems to have faith. And then he can burn the Panda. If he can disable the Panda the entire time, then his casters will be safe, of course. Yeah, the Demon Hunter, of course, 1-1-1 one, one, one build again. Panda still level 1. He continues to push this. Only farms to protect. And the first guard tower. Cage is almost supply stuck. Can't do anything against the expansion right now. So Moon is mining quite safely. A thousand gold for TH already. <laughs> he can't cancel the farms anymore. But he built a lot more, so that's alright. Priests, Breakers, no workshop yet. It's only Rifleman. But the bears are there. Would he steal the consumable? Did he... He A crept like one, two spots, attack. right? <laughs> In the, the entire game, Moon did. Skirt Bone Chimes, of course an item for the shop. It would be great if the Demon Hunter could steal it, but eh -eh. And here is Siphon Mana for the first time. Level 2. Did we see Banish or Flame Strike? I think Flame Strike would be great against the Bears. Siphon, I mean, Banish can save a few units, but apart from that, not really useful. And if it's gonna be double area of effect, the Song of Ice and Fire. Players forces are under attack. Then it's really rocking. We saw the blizzard before in game one, so TH might be reliant on those area of effect spells. First heal scroll already. He's towering up. Okay. 
It's gonna be a long crawl if he wants to crawl across the bridge with that. And, uh, still not level 2, but the Master Bears are here. And so creeping is very, very easy. Same for TH. I think Moon had the opportunity to creep this and steal this from, Mo uh, from, from TH, but he didn't go for it. He hasn't decided on what to use yet. And TH's army still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 footmen. Don't really want that. Level 2 for the Wand of Mana Stealing is alright. And the Potion of Mana is of course way better. Yeah, and Banish can be dispelled of course. So it is Flame Strike. Level 1. And I wonder if he goes Flame Strike level 2. Yes, Flame Strike level 2. That is a lot of damage. A town Did the Archmage seen. retrain yet? No. He went to go to the shop though. Where the Panda is busy. Double heal scroll. Would it be worth it to just uh, steal the Tomb of Retraining? I don't think so. Because there's two shops. On Echo Isles, maybe it is. And here comes TH with Mortal Teams. Two of them. The position is not that great. Everything is all over the place. He didn't expect Moon to be there, I think. Breath of Fire number one. Fury Dragons. Four of them. That could be massive area of effect. Of course, TH wants to lure Moon into the safe spot at the bridge. But you don't want to fight in chokes if you're a Night Elf. First Flame Strike. Booyah. So far, it's only a Song of Fire. Three dragons are in a good position, but there is the flying machines. Kills the first one. Blow! Flame strike was nice. Heal scroll immediately against it, but also the breath of fire. Fire is strong in this game here. Blood mage completely out of position. Needs to use the heal scroll soon. As he can't save himself too much, I think. That blood mage, man. I don't know if he can survive much longer. But the kiting game is very strong on TH's side. Flying Machine does good damage towards the Fury Dragons. He lost two already. Rebuild one. Morphing all the bears. Don't really know why. Flame Strike again. Boom! Hits them all! Holy cow, that uh, lightning shield was nice though. Mortal Team's a little out of position. The bears are falling, man. Where is the block line? Again, Flame Strike. This time he dodges it. To a good degree. The castles are all low, but the heal scroll was so important. Everything was wearing a crimson mask, but uh -uh, he said, spelling a few words out of that scroll, and everybody is happy again. Looking very good for TH. 70 versus 80. Is it now time for the ice? No, just the heal scroll. Not committing fully. To Blizzard and Flame Strike. Demon Hunter is level 4.3. It's not the weakest, but it's also not the strongest Demon Hunter. He's crawling forward with the towers. Can he break this? Moon has to break this soon, but the Flame Strike again! Against the bears, man. The Breath of Fire is hitting well again, but what's it worth if there's a heal scroll against that? He wants to get rid of the Blood Mage so bad, but there's always this little niche where he can squeeze through. Is it time for him to die now? No, there's slow on the Demon Hunter. And so he tanks a lot of hits now. He has no potion. He has only one staff. And the bears are doing nothing. They're just running back, getting hit by more teams. TH is losing almost nothing in those fights. It's crazy. This level of control is insane and yeah, the expansion is gone by the way. I uh, kind of forgot to mention that. <laughs> Tree of life here, but it's being towered. Moon wanted to be smart, but uh -uh, not with TH. Who continues to mine and mine and mine. Only two fury dragons. Once again in mana flare form, but they're being sniped again. Once again, this mix of Riflemen and Mortar Teams are doing a very, very good job. Flame Strike. It's such a 
huge spell for them. Nice breath of fire again. But Moon taps out and he says this. I can't do anything against it. This is too much. Too much pressure, too much towers, too much damage. Great, uh, great control. Just outstanding control. Always had slow on the bears. Always kited back a little. Then there was flame strike, mortar team shots, rifleman damage, archmage damage, of course. And the bears, they couldn't get a hold of anything up front. He didn't really level. Great game. Great game. This is like top-notch Warcraft. Doesn't get much better than that. So we're waiting for game number two, uh, number three, as this was the equalizer. And I hope we don't get like a Tower Rush match now because it was so nice to see the macro of those players and then going into a fight to see the micro of them as well just exploding and i think a tower rush would have a or would leave a bad taste of this series <laughs> thanks metzger One thousand six hundred viewers, by the way. Thank you very much for tuning in once again. Hopefully, Twisted Metal or Turtle Rock. Yeah, man. I feel you. That would be the dream, but I don't know. The vetoes, unfortunately. They should nerf motor teams. Well, it's not that long that motor teams became this key unit. And a lot of Night have found a solution with chimeras, but I don't know. Thank you, Suprexify. I really like TH's, um, what's it called, tech tree or like how he prioritizes to build units. Like he always has this two or three riflemen, but he doesn't do more. So he doesn't, like you have the blacksmith anyway for the workshop, but the transition from tier two to mortar teams is quite long as you need to build the workshop. And so he builds the blacksmith quite early, gets out two to three riflemen for the damage against the dryads. And he's fairly safe with that. In addition to the few water elementals that he has left that are not being dispelled. Uh, that's a really clever approach. <laughs> Muse new monster sponsorship? Oh, well, it would be awesome, man. It would save me a lot of bucks for guests. How much fees do you have to pay for donations? I think nothing. Any matches left today? I can show you what's coming up. Uh, this is what we'll see. We are uh, waiting for the third game of Moon versus TH. And then we have Remind in the grand final waiting for the winner of this upcoming map. We saw TH beating Cini very clearly 2-0. Then we saw Remind in an un believable comeback on map three in the winner bracket final and now great games between th and moon as well and as i said remind waiting here for his opponent you're a legend <laughs> i don't know man legends are aren't legends like a thing of the past like champesk is a legend who is watching by the way shout out to you uh Creo is a legend who I think is watching as well. But I'm still rocking. I'm still hot. 
Do you remember who TH uh, Tower Rush with no hero? That was Lolliot. It was two days ago. Modern day, living legend, modern day legend. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. But thank you guys. That's uh, appreciated. What do you think of Crota? I hope I can cast with him soon. Uh, big dedication this guy has. I don't know if he still does Warcraft because I saw him streaming another game recently. Crota, was it Crota Gaming? Sorry. YouTube, Crota. But yeah, I want to do something more for YouTube. Um, I'm trying to get like a one one cast per week with guys like Orange. I have to ask uh, Starshaped if he wants to do that. And I want to ask Crota as well. So like a little more diversity in casters. And game is live, boys. I think it's AI. How much do you get from free Prime subs? Um, the usual stuff, like 50%. It's like a normal sub for me. Your building is complete. Did Remo retire? Nope. We are on AI with a late altar. So no time to waste. I just have to do the colors here. Moon is purple and TH says blue. Let's go, let's go, let's go. As this is a neutral hero for sure. Is it a tower rush as well? I'm looking into the game now for the first time. There's no lumber mill just yet. So what is it? Beastmaster? Naga? Tinker? So far it's I'll nothing. It's a demon hunter hard. for Remind, that's for sure, with an engine of war here. He must be aware that TH loves to do this stuff. He's going for the tavern. He has to wait a little more. Of course he's waiting if this is a demon hunter or not. If he sees the demon hunter, this must be a naga. But where's the lumber mill? I don't see it yet. Naga. The same stuff we saw against Lawliot. Will it was it Lawliot? I think it was. Will it work against Moon as well? Moon seems to be next level at the moment. And there are no towers yet. I don't think it was Lawliot. I can't remember. Um Naga, of course, great right clicks. Good control over the archers, kills the first one. Engine of War will be shut down, I guess. But he can move this one to the base. It does take some time. Demon Hunter needs to do crazy damage. Is there... There's a Lumber Mill coming. There's this Lumber Mill coming and it's halfway up. Militia already there. This is a tower push, as expected on this map. Does he have the time for the Engine of War? This would be a great help. <laughs> crazy position. But yeah, I think it's smart, man. There can't be attacked from too many sides. Well, the archers have range anyway, but cancels the first one. Naga is low. Oh, that block! Is it time for Shadow Melt? It doesn't have the time, so the Naga is free. That was the last archer for now. Demon Hunter is on its own. First tower is being upgraded. Lumber Mill is ready, but so is the Engine of War. TH not prioritizing on this one. And the moon juice is gone. I love the positioning. He builds it around the moon wells. So moon cannot really use them to heal up. I mean, he has to go in range, then he loses HP. Good positioning from the footman. All right, uh, um, always protecting the naga from more hits from the war glaives. Three towers are coming up. He doesn't have the damage. There's an engine of war now, but he's far away from the trees. That's an issue. And the Demon Hunter can't heal anymore. He stays on tier 1. Naga gets some more shots out. Footman right clicks. Naga right clicks. And she gets it. Demon Hunter down. That is so much time for the towers. The Engine of War alone can't do this. And this series are so reminiscent of the WCG final. Where everything was so close in 2013. And four years later, it's still close between the two. And once again, TH with a tower push. It's not 
nearly as important as it was then, obviously, as this is just a qualifier. They're both qualified so far. But it's about prestige. And finally, a human back in the top two of a tournament is rare. Engine of War is not doing anything. Three guard towers hitting on him. Demon Hunter is back. Yeah, but can he knock down three guard towers? Questionable. He has five archers. No defend yet. Naga is slow, but has boots. Against no boots, of course, she can always run away. The shop is about to come up. The Moonwell is gone. And the Engine of War is gone as well. He has some piercing damage, but the footmen are already there. Remind is not tacking. Remind is not having an engine of war anymore in his base. He can produce some archers here, but that's all he can do. Shop up. Regen scroll immediately. He got rid of this tower, so he can't attack the tree of life at the moment. This might be a little time to breathe. Did I say remind the entire time? Sorry, it's moon, of course. A little time for moon to breathe. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's... I don't know why he's positioning... this here. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, he builds a concave. He's not going closer to the Tree of Life. And the footmen just have way too much damage. The Demon Hunter can't get inside his own base anymore. But Remind was facing a Tower Rush already today. And it was looking pitch black. It's still Remind, right? Moon! Uh, it, it was Moon who, who did the Tower Push and everything I wanted to say is completely wrong. So <laughs> let's just focus on this. Jesus Christ. He still doesn't have defend. Oh, okay. He does have defend now. Moon floats in 700 gold. And the Demon Hunter might die for the second time. There is no escape. And he calls for the GG. TH continues and he will face Remind now. I was just ahead in time. And Moon is out finishing third in this qualifier bronze medal. Good show from him. Making its way through the winner bracket. But then Remind and TH were a little too much for him. And uh, yeah, that was the game for third. Or oh, well, the uh, lower bracket final. TH, very strong today. Only losing one map so far. And this is kind of a marathon for him. As he was playing the first match of today as well versus Cini. But that was more like a warm-up match to him. Now, it's time for a best of five between the best players of this qualifier. It's uh, in one corner, Remind. In the other corner, it is a TH who just beat Moon. And so, what's coming up is a best of five of Remind versus TH. It's gonna be good. But I need a little break, so I'm gonna throw you into a little commercial break. We have a few subs coming in, so thank you, uh, Chicks Killer, uh, Super Show, immer wieder nice. Thank you so much. Keep up the great work. Thanks for the nice words, man. Mahomi, uh, 19888. This is overdue. Greetings from Ibn Buren. Thank you very much, Rock City, Ibn Buren. Shout out uh, to you. Serbian Jarks has subscribed as well. Glad to support you. In any small way I can. Loving the stream and YouTube channel. Keep up the good work, Neo. Hashtag Warcraft 3. Thank you very much, Jarks. Um, subs actually help a lot. And I'm very, very grateful for everybody who's using their Twitch Prime uh, sub or investing their money into a sub. I will send you the replay packs of this entire qualifier right after the cast. So you have something out of that as well. So, a little break here. Uh, get some drinks, get some snacks, or... Yeah, snacks is okay. Maybe a piece of cake, as it is Sunday. And we're back in about seven minutes. Have fun with the commercials. Be right back. <laughs> 